Let's say you've made a device that generates electricity from footsteps or from sound actually. But the electricity produced is so little that you need to boost it. So today I'm going to show you how to make a DC to DC converter or you can call it a step up chopper which is a device that produces a higher voltage from the input voltage. Okay. So here at Electronics, we don't buy new components for our electronic projects. We just recycle old motherboards. So what I need from this motherboard is a toroid coil, which I need to use to make an inductor. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'll just uh, remove the windings. So this part I'll just fast forward because you definitely don't want to see me doing this. Okay, so what we need to have from this storage coil is uh, an inductor like this, which have 15 turns and 30 turns. Okay, let me show you how to make it. So this is my first turn. It's pretty much easy. Uh, there's nothing complicated about it. So you just do what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. And again, I'll just fast forward because this is boring. We definitely have a long video if I show you everything. Okay, so when you are done with the, the first 15 turns, you don't cut your wire, you just twist it like this. And then you continue winding again. So let's do that again. Okay, now I'm done with another 30 turns. Okay, so we need more components for this circuit to work. So we need transistors and a 1 kilo ohm resistor and um, a capacitor. For the capacitor, I'm just going to use a, a 400 volt capacitor, but actually it's too big for the project. But just do what, just do you, right? Just choose a capacitor that you need, but basically it has to be higher than the voltage that you need. Okay, so now um, I'll just connect the diode like this, following the circuit diagram that I've provided you at the beginning of this video. And I'm using a multimeter to test my connections if they are connected well. So these copper wires, they are insulated. So I have to make sure that I've removed the insulation on uh, and connected well. This is a AAA battery, a 1.5 volts, and we're going to get 25 volts from it. At least that's what I'm expecting. So let me show you the output. Okay, so I, oh, it actually passed 20 volts, so let check above 20 volts. So now we're getting about 23 volts for now, but still our capacitor is still charging, so we can get more from that. So I think we can safely say we have got 24 volts. I'm getting 24 volts, but it's actually a good output. So um, on my next video, if you want to know how to get these components like transistors, thyristors, or regulators uh, from old motherboards, I'll show you how to do that. So follow me for more.